The idea of finding creatures that once lived or possibly still cling to existence being few in number is an idea that can be used to explain many cryptid sightings. There have been a number of times that real animals have been the source for legendary beasts. We all know about the story of the gorilla. This familiar pattern of events could be unfolding once again, this time in the outback of the Australian wilderness. A recent find could reveal an answer to one of the country's longest running cryptid legends. Could what was found give us a real creature as a source for the stories of the Bunyip? Let's take a look. Welcome to IF, videos on cryptozoology, ufology and the paranormal. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a video again. So maybe we should start with a quick reminder of what the bunyip is said to be. If you want to take a look at an older video on the subject, I've linked it above. If not, here's a quick explainer. The bunyip is a cryptid creature that is said to inhabit the creeks, billabongs and other waterways of Australia. It is a strange mix of creatures, having a round head, an elongated neck and a body resembling that of an ox, hippopotamus or manatee. Some accounts even give it a human figure. The bunyip is said to make loud, booming or roaring noises and is given to devouring human prey, especially women and small children. The dangers associated with cryptid water dwellers are often used as an allegory for the dangers of water. Stories told around campfires to warn children from playing too close to a location which could be dangerous. The bunyip is also said to be capable of living out of water. This being said, it's never far from a lake, river or stream. Sometimes the bunyip is depicted as a very large creature, other times smaller, more in line with the size of a big dog. Witnesses have also said that it resembles some undiscovered variety of freshwater seal and at other times a more traditional lake monster description is given. So what could this animal be? And how does it link with the recent finding of a Pleistocene 2,200 pound Australian marsupial? Australia is home to animals that were thought fiction. The platypus was for the longest time believed to be a fake, an animal constructed from parts of other creatures in an attempt to fool the newly emerging field of evolutionary science. The echidna is like the platypus being another egg-laying mammal and also like the platypus, their babies are referred to as puggles. What a great name. They can be short-beaked or long-beaked and they are found all over Australia. They each have a spiny coat just like a porcupine as well as long, sticky tongues. Another creature with a scary appearance is the thorny devil. The Australian lizard lives in the outback. They belong to a group of lizards known as dragon lizards. Despite its dangerous appearance and its name, it is one of the least aggressive reptiles on the continent. So, with a history of some of the strangest creatures to have lived evolving on the isolated landmass, could a creature from the past lend itself to the legend of the bunyip? In a recent study, an extinct 2,200 pound marsupial tapir which roamed the Australian continent for the last 25 million years and was unlike any living mammal previously studied has been found. The Palochestes azel or P. azel possessed a tapir-like skull, hyper-retracted nasal cavities and strutted around with large scimitar-like claws and muscular limbs that it is said to have used to forage for food According to the Griffith University, the Palochestidae family or marsupial tapirs were not the largest of prehistoric creatures to have called the outback home. The largest known marsupial to date was Diprotodon, a hippopotamus-sized distant cousin of the wombat. The behemoths were about 10 feet long and weighed in at around 6,100 pounds. These marsupial tapirs may not have been as big but they did have some rather peculiar features. The marsupial megafauna walked on all fours and it could also stand on its hind legs to perhaps reach for food in trees. Their arms were permanently fixed at roughly 100 degrees in angle so they were always flexed and ready to gather food. While some body parts from the creature have yet to be discovered, estimates from this study provide the first descriptions of their morphology and unique anatomy. Could the discovery of more remains 
help paint a more concise picture, maybe a picture of an animal that could resemble what has been described as a bunyip. Looking at these images, I think it could. The marsupial tapirs, marsupial lions, and giant wombats are from the same suborder as wombats and koalas, which are still found in Australia today. Science says that the megafauna died off as the planet began to warm and human activity spread across the continent. Could those first humans have ran into these giant marsupials? Possibly at waterholes? The creature becoming the basis for the legend, or maybe they are still living in small populations, clinging on and rarely seen in the vastness that is the Australian outback. According to the study's authors, the study has allowed them for the first time to appreciate just how huge these mega marsupials were. It also provided the first comprehensive view of the strange limb anatomy, something which is unprecedented in the mammalian world today. The study pulls back the curtain on this slender, muscular, clawed giant that could have been alive as recently as the end of the Ice Age. This recent date, meaning that there is more than a good possibility that the early humans interacted and knew of these animals. So the question remains, are these animals still alive? Could they be the basis of the Bunyip legend? Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, if you like what I do here on the channel, hit that red button, like and share. You can find the latest by searching We Are If. And if you'd like to support the channel, please take a look at the links provided in the video description. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next time.